Hello people, what is going on? This is Michiel. Um, I wanted to make this video for quite a while actually. So I guess it's time for, for making it. Um, how to use the Bitcoin wallet. I've noticed that on the Bitcoin Reddit for instance there's a lot of people having having trouble with, with the wallet. Um, and most of these problems are avoidable and um, then more problems arise because they're forgetting something or they don't know something and this creates all types of issues and problems uh, that is really hard to solve so I wanted to make this video because I actually know uh, a lot about the Bitcoin wallet um, it's really my domain so I just wanted to explain a lot about it so people don't have any issues with it and um, will be future ready it's not not fun to have uh, have problems with your with your wallet so let's start this off by saying this video is not about using a light note and why is that? Because at the moment the Bitcoin wallet has certain issues with light nodes. Um, the Bitcoin team, they're pretty great and they're working hard I'm sure, but they don't really provide sometimes an update on uh, a warning maybe to say that uh, hey there's issues with light nodes watch out so I actually know that there is issues because I've used light nodes myself and I've seen a lot of people who use light nodes who have issues with the wallet so um, to fix all these problems you have to switch to the full node now that will take some room on your hard drive about 40 gigabytes or something uh, that is the cost of running a stable f wallet. And this video is not about uh, using a light note or uh, explaining on how to do it because it's not reliable. Um, this is a video that explains uh, to you how to use the Bitcoin wallet reliably and 100% secured with no issues whatsoever and if you say well screw you MD I'm just gonna use the light note you can use the light note but then it will not be 100 percent reliable so if something goes wrong for instance you're not fully synced to the the Bitcoin network the blockchain uh, and you send coins uh, there can be uh, arising a lot of issues for instance you can lose your coins they cannot show up anymore in your wallet uh, there will be uh, incorrect information in your wallet etc etc uh, you might not see all your funds uh, you might miss half of your transactions now all these things are really really bad and you want to avoid it so trust me when I say that you should not use any light nodes for Bitcoin wallet it's just and, 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 and this mostly counts for other wallets as well um, of course if you're using other wallets like Electrum they have really uh, a good wallet that uses uh, uh, light nodes but that is more uh, that is different than than this wallet so um, I do know that the, the Bitcoin team is aware of these problems with the light nodes. I've also sent them an email and uh, they're, they're working on it. So uh, most likely this will be fixed in the future, but still I will always keep recommending to sync to the full node blockchain network because that is just 100% reliable and even if you have 99.9% .9 reliability if something goes wrong and you just send 10,000 or 100,000 bitcoins 
and uh, things go uh, not as planned uh, you will not sleep that well so that's why um, I do recommend always using the full note and I cannot stress that enough and this video will not work if you're using a light note so this is only for the full note uh, and how to use the Bitcoin wallet that way alright um, now you always want to make sure that your Bitcoin wallet is synced to the latest uh, block you can see the synchronization on the left side down below right here where my mouse is my Bitcoin wallet is still syncing at the moment because I haven't opened it for a while um, it's gonna go to 140 uh, 1, 1 1.4 million uh, and that will be uh, the latest block you will have to check before you send you can't send anything or use anything before it's synced to the latest block now always double check this number even if you're using a full node so make you can check online what the latest block is for Bitcoin and verify and check that with this number right here so then you know that your wallet is synced to the live network it's really important and this is also the first sign that something is missing for instance in the light node you can have issues where this number is different and uh, and and it doesn't uh, is e it it's not equal and the same as uh, the full node blockchain so that's the first sign that something is is bad if you have that problem and you're using a light node I know many people have those problems and issues then you should um, then you should back up your wallet back up your keys store them really well and save them on a on a good spot possibly a cold storage device or something make sure you have a couple backups of that so let me repeat back up your wallet and back up your keys and then delete Bitcoin wallet and also delete everything in the app data folder concerning Bitcoin everything the whole folder so you delete the Bitcoin Bitcoin uh, wallet uh, directory and you also delete the Bitcoin app data folder so there's nothing on your computer anymore that has Bitcoin wallet on it any any information or data then you go to the Bitcoin site and download the latest wallet release you install that cleanly and you let it sync you open that you open that wallet um, you let it sync to the full node this will take a day or two it goes actually it goes pretty fast it used to go a lot slower they did a lot of optimizations so it will take a day or so to sync let it sync up just be patient don't do anything with your computer or just let it load and after it's fully synced and you are synced to the blockchain you go open up your wallet here where file is and just open wallet and then select your wallet and then everything should load here and you should have your wallet back and everything should work flawlessly now I know this works 100 percent because I've done it 10 or 20 times already um, it's always good to have a fresh fresh new wallet and w whenever there's an update on the wallet on the website keep an eye on it and just uh, yeah keep keep updating your wallet because uh, sometimes there's issues and especially if you have um, a corrupt wallet or something is, is 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 not feeling right delete everything but of course make sure before that that you have backup all your wallets and all your information well your keys and stored it in a secure place so you can open up your wallet again do not delete anything uh, before you have uh, made your proper backups 
so that is already uh, very important and that will uh, help most of the people uh, get their bitcoins uh, bitcoin wallet problems fixed because I know that many of the problems uh, arose with people syncing to a light node network that light node network doesn't give the correct information and suddenly all kinds of strange stuff is gonna is starting to happen in their wallets now these people are using a light node so they're not really 100% synced to the network so you can understand that that the more they are doing the more they are transfer transferring it's like a, a chain of bad bad things that's happening so you want to avoid that all right now in a general sense you want when you're using any cryptocurrency wallet or, or wallet in, in on, on a system you want to make sure that it's pretty idle you don't want to be mining you don't want to be gaming and having tons of apps uh, active virus scanners now you keep your system idle keep it low usage why because uh, then it is more reliable to sync and there is less uh, chance of something going wrong the wallet may be crashing or freezing and then you have to do everything again especially when uh, when you're syncing to the full node so that is actually what I do recommend uh, make sure you have a clean system that your system is um, uh, doesn't have too many apps on uh, micro crap apps uh, Windows 10 apps turn turn that all off that is using CPU um, you can check that in task manager easily by the way and uh, make sure to turn all that stuff off because it's just hogging your system and it's uh, very useless all right so yeah always make sure that you uh, back up your wallet data and keys on a cold storage device you can do this uh, right here and then you go to backup wallet and also save wallet keys and this option here it will not delete your wallet it will just reload the blockchain information that you already have on your computer so you can actually reset this wallet if if if, if you have a small issue or, or it doesn't really load fully you can try this and then if it still doesn't work try my method of deleting everything app data clean install resync open up your wallet and you'll be ready to go and everything will work flawlessly um, all right yeah very important last but not least um, when you receive a, tran a new transaction you have to be sure that it's confirmed before you uh, do anything with that so because that money is 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 basically it's sent to your wallet but it's it has not been confirmed by the blockchain yet so if you send it again without being without it being confirmed there can be issues it's not recommended so if you have received a transaction of say 100 bitcoins and you see it appear in your recent transaction list be sure that you have a green sign on the right side and that it's confirmed quite some uh, quite a, a couple of times before doing anything with those funds and this is uh, general uh, uh, advice and also uh, um, needed for other other wallets for instance with Bitcoin or, or other coins you don't want to uh, send anything that has not been confirmed yet um, it's basically it's the same as the bank sending you money and that money money is on your bank account but um, but the money isn't in your safe yet the mo you know like the money is, is is you can see it the number you can see it in your bank account 
but the physical amount is still traveling in the car and going to the safe uh, a little bit like that so you you want to wait till that that car is actually at the safe and it's confirmed and then you can actually use it to explain a little better um Yeah, so I cannot stress you guys enough that you should really uh, use good backups. The best is to have a cold storage device like USB sticks that are reliable, paper wallets, um, whatever you uh, deem uh, handy. Uh, and make sure that you uh, keep it at a safe uh, spot uh, away from people uh, that can uh, possibly steal it or something. Um, I'm thinking what else to add. The Bitcoin team is always working on new updates and uh, uh, improving the wallet. I also ask them to uh, put in an option in the settings so you can change where the blockchain directory is uh, being saved. Um, they're aware of that at the moment so I hope that function is added as well. Good things are happening with Bitcoin. Um, uh, so that is all good if you guys have any questions or problems with the wallet let me know and I'll try to help you guys um, um, so yeah that is basically on how to use the Bitcoin wallet uh, well and secure and reliably um, I'm thinking on, on, on what else to uh, to say um, I can just explain a couple things here on the right side here you, you'll see your total balance that will only appear once you once you have been synced so don't worry everything is all okay but it will only appear once you are synced to the network um, sending bitcoins here you can just send bitcoins to, to somebody that should explain itself uh, transactions here you can see your transactions block explorer um, you can explore uh, the blockchain uh, and uh, hashes. Uh, it can be handy just to see what what is going on. Um, contacts you can add addresses of friends and yourself. Uh, it can be easy, so you don't have to uh, keep on copy and pasting and just for your references. And here you can mine. Uh, straight from the wallet it's only CPU and it's solo mining but if you find a block you get 5,000 coins so that is pretty nice um, but it will take a long while and it's of course not a very optimized CPU miner but it's possible so uh, that is the Bitcoin wallet explained for you guys and that should be everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, if there is any issues and uh, comments are always welcome. And have a good Sunday. Peace out.